Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz found in lesson eight of the biology two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. Awesome. So to really figure this question out, we need to understand the different types of skeletal muscle. And there are really two main types of skeletal muscle. The first type of skeletal muscle is type one, and that's what's often referred to as slow twitch muscle. These kind of muscles aren't as fast, but they can go a really long time without getting tired. They have lots of myoglobin to pull oxygen into the muscle cell, so they can use that oxygen in the lots of mitochondria they have to make energy. And that energy tends to be stored as TAGs. So that's a lot of helpful information. What's most important to remember here is that these are slow twitch muscles. They don't move as fast, but they also can go a long time without getting tired. I like to think of that if you've ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare, where the tortoise went slow and steady, won the race. Those type one slow twitch muscles, I like to think of as the tortoise. And we're always going to remember that that's type one because the tortoise won the race. He was number one. Next, of course, we have type two. And type two muscles, as you could probably guess, are the fast twitch muscles. They don't have as much mitoglobin. They don't have as much mitochondria, very few mitochondria. And basically, they're very, very fast, but they tire very, very quickly. And they tend to store their energy as glycogen or as creatine phosphate. One last thing to know that's good to know is there's actually two different kinds of type two muscles. You've got A and B. And the only difference is, is A tends to be a little bit more moderate. It's kind of a little in the middle almost between type one and type two, whereas 2B is that very, very fast twitch. So very different from the type one muscles. Great, now let's look at our answer options and see what we can figure out. Since here we've got a patient coming in for their yearly physical, they're on the track team and the events they compete in are hurdles and sprints. So if you haven't ever competed in hurdles and sprints, sprints obviously, as you can imagine, is a very fast event. Hurdles is a very fast event as well. So the question is, what kind of muscle types are we primarily going to rely on? We've got our three types that we talked about, type 2A, type 2B, and type 1. So you remember type 1, first place, that's the tortoise. That's our slow twitch. That's for long, drawn out exercise doesn't tire very easily. Whereas type 2A, type 2B, that's more for our moderate or high intensity, fast twitch. That's the stuff we're gonna want for hurdles and sprints. So our correct answer is going to be type 2A and type 2B. Both types of that fast twitch muscle would make sense for some of these moderate and faster races that we're looking at here. So our correct option is going to be one and two only. Let's go ahead and check it out. Perfect, awesome. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and schedule a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.